Hi, it's me again with Corelda All Tips and Tricks. Several days ago, somebody sent me this photograph and asked how to, how you could easily draw that. I don't know that there's an easy way. I've come up with my way. It's a little bit different than that, but it's got the same effect. All I did was draw 18 circles that are uh, contoured uh, a quarter inch apart. And then I used the Smart Fill tool to fill in this design, and it's a little bit different than the picture. And then I put six lines across the top. But if you have, the only way I know quickly, if you have that uh, group together and you have this group together, you can readily move them out of the way because we're going to need to rotate them here in a minute. So we're going to do the exact same, and we're just going to use a Smart Fill tool. I'm actually going to zoom in. And we're going to make them exactly the same, except we're going to rotate them around later. So with the Smart Fill tool, I am going to come down and just do the exact same thing I did over here. This one, uh, do those two lines and these three dots. And on this one, you're going to go all the way across and then do every other line. Now you need to do it on the other side. But since you've got the example, and the, the other side is actually backwards from the other. So we're going to come in with this line and then go over. We're going to go and just fill in these three lines and then fill in all these and you've got the design. Now what's good about this is we can nudge this out of the way. And because this is all a group, we can grab our green and group it together, control G, and we can move it out of the way. And later on, we're gonna turn them all black anyway, and we're gonna rotate them. But because now that's a group, we can do the outer layer with, uh, well, let's just go ahead and use black since we're gonna turn them all black anyway. And we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna come in on this second line in and go all the way to there. Uh, this one, we're gonna go ahead and go all the way to there and then do every other line. This one, we're gonna uh, just do these two lines. And then here's just the opposite, but we're gonna do the same that we did on the green. We're just gonna fill in these. We're gonna come up with this line. I know this might be a little bit confusing, but I'm using the, the the other one for a pattern. So now I can move the green out of the way. And because the all the lines are grouped together, I can move them out of the way completely. Now I can group this together, control G. And now I could put these all back. Now to make it look good, we need to rotate it. And matter of fact, we'll make them all black now. And we're going to take that second group. Let's bring in our indexing lines and hit P. Wow, I've got too many indexing lines. I hope I started in the center of the page with my drawing. Because it's not, uh, Corel does not think of it as a perfectly round sphere. Or maybe it does. Let's see. Yeah, it's a round sphere, so it's going to work. So... Let's bring in index and lines and hit P. Yeah, we're in the center of the page. And then let's grab that second group and let's rotate it 90 degrees. And then on this one, we're just going to rotate it 45 degrees. And you could, I, I must have done it the opposite on that one. But there you have that design. Wasn't really hard to, draw it was a little bit confusing at first but this is the fastest the best way i found uh so if you're a little bit confused on this i just started with a a circle and hit p put it in the center of the page went to effects and contoured i contoured it uh, to the outside a quarter of an inch uh, 18 times and then because they're a quarter of an inch, let me just erase these. I drew six lines. 
So I just drew, drew, drew a straight line. Whoop, that's parallel dimension tool. I do that quite a bit. I got my nudge factor, I'll set it on a quarter. Control D to duplicate it. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. And group that together and hit P, put it in the center of the page. And then I would group all this together before I start. And just, you know, take away your indexing line so it won't be in the way. And just start smart filling. And because this is a group, you'll be able to take it out of the picture, you know. Anyway, I hope that helped them. Thank you for watching.